Excuse me, Dark Lord J Dog, ACG Payback, coming at you with Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video. This is just going to be a quick video to show my Gear 13s and my Galactic Legends progress. Um, I'm getting really close to Galactic Legends Kylo Ren, uh, and I'm like a fifth of the way through. Anyways, let's see where I am. I'm. For Ray, I'm. 4 out of 13, so I'm a little less than a quarter of the way through, and for Kylo Ren, I am 10 out of 13. The only thing I need left is Stormtrooper, Vet Han Solo, First Order TIE Pilot. So instead of showing you my gear thirteens like this, I'm just gonna and plus I said that you see my progress, so first start with uh what's it? Empire. This is gonna be a quick one. So the only people I have uh that gear thirteen is Emperor Palpatine at relic level seven and Darth Vader at relic level five. And same thing for the Rebellion. I only have three characters for it. This one, I'm coming a little better. Although my regular guys like Wedge and the Hoth, Hoth Rebel Scout aren't doing too good. The, um, uh, and like, I don't have a great Stormtrooper Han, Princess Leia. But, you know, my Mon Mothman and my Chu 3PO are, uh, you know, uh, more done than characters that I've had for over a year. I mean, for over a couple of years. And, um, but I have focused on the, uh, the ones that are a little bit more, uh, I don't know, interesting. Like, other than Lando and old, and old Ben. A, a Gear 12 Chase, um, Cassidy and Andor, Captain Han and Rollo, Han Solo, uh, Jyn Erso, Ahsoka Tunnel Fulcrum, and Chewbacca with their Zetas, except for Chase. But anyways, Gear 13, Malik Level 7, Commander Luke Skywalker. And I want to see what his, uh, what this is, because I might have to replace it. Yeah, I'm going to replace it with this. Where is it? Look at this. Oh, that's not it. Ah, there it is. That's crazy. So, Relic Level 7. Commander Luke Skywalker, and, uh, oh, sorry, you know what, I forgot to say, so for the Empire, not only are they, is one, uh, are they Gear 13, uh, Emperor Palpatine 7, Vader 5, Emperor Palpatine is his lead in his unique Zeta, and, uh, Darth Vader has his special, his lead, and his unique Zeta. So, two on Emperor Palpatine, three on Vader. And for Rebels, Commander Luke is Relic Level 7, with three Zetas, a lead and two uniques. R2-C-3PO is Relic Level 5, with two Zetas, um, a special, and a unique. R2-D2 
Really go with five or two Zetas. Well, it's level seven with two Zetas. Um, RGD two. And then resistance. You know what? I'll show you guys my old republic and my Sith Empire before I do that. My old republic. Although I've got nine out of twelve Zetas, I've only got three gear thirteen, four gear thirteens at relic level seven, with a Zeta special lead and unique Jedi Knight Revan. At relic level five, with a Zeta lead Bastila Shan. Relic level five, with a Zeta special Jolie Bindo. At relic level. Five with a uh, Zeta unique Juhani, and then for Stith Empire, this is my arena squad at uh, relic level seven with a Zeta lead and two uniques Darth Revan. Um, at a relic level seven with two Zeta uniques HK 47, relic level seven with two Zeta uniques Darth Malik. And relic level seven with a Zeta unique Bastila Sean Fallen or Bad Stilla. And then at gear thirteen, relic level seven, Sith Empire Trooper. My resistance if uh, C three PO and R two counted, I'd be a lot closer. But anyways, so I've only got six uh, gear 13s here, which is better than um, any of the other ones. But Ray Jedi training with a relic level seven and a Zeta lead and two Zeta uniques. BB-8 relic level seven with two Zeta uniques. C-3PO relic level five with a Zeta lead and a Zeta unique, I mean a Zeta uh, special and a Zeta unique. Um, Relic level seven, Ray Scavenger with a Zeta unique. Relic level five, RTD2 with uh, two Zeta uniques. Relic level five, Finn with a Zeta lead. And then Poe's at gear 12 still. Resistance Hero Finn and Resistance Hero Poe are both 14 out of 100. That's uh, 6 star. My uh, vets are both gear 11 with no Zetas. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put Zetas on them. I'm not sure if you actually use the vets in the Galactic Legends thing. If you don't, if you, if you don't need to use them, then I'm not going to put the Zetas on them. Because I have almost 40, but I want to uh, save them for um, when Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is out. Amy Lynn Holdo with uh, her Zeta. I forget which one it is. I think it's quite confidence. And then... At gear 12, my resistance trooper. Gear 11, my resistance pilot. And uh, it's only... Um, she's only five stars, but she has her Zeta. Rose Tico. And then there's... So I need two stars for Rose. One star for resistance heroes. Now let's check out, this is where I'm getting close now, first order. Out of 
one, two, three, four, out of ten characters, eight of them are gear 13. At Relic Level 7, with Zeta Eden as a unique Kylo Ren and Mask. At Relic Level 7, with the Zeta uh, Special, Kylo Ren. Um, Relic 7, with a Zeta Lead, Captain Phasma. Relic 5, with a Zeta either Lead or Unique, I forget. Um, General Hux, Sith Trooper with a Zeta, Bug Global 5 Sith Trooper with Emperor's Legacy Zeta, um, Bug Global 5 First Order Executioner, Bug Global 5 First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter Pilot, Bug Global 5 First Order Officer. So for the First Order, I'm literally missing five pieces, five full pieces. Or maybe not the full piece. And now here I'll show you just the ships that are re reacted by the uh, uh, relics. And the only ones that are reacted are the Empire, First Order, and Resistance. So first I'll show the Empire. So I've got every umpire ship, but my strongest is the TIE Advanced with Darth Vader and Emperor Shuttle with Sidious and the Royal Guard. And then First Order, I'm actually, I'm doing really good in. Uh, and this is my arena squad here, except for Hound's Tooth, because it doesn't show up under First Order, obviously. Anyway, there's my TIE Silencer, and my Command Shuttle, 79k, has two, uh, as Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, and that Stormtrooper. And my TIE Silencer, with Kylo Ren unmasked. My Special Forces TIE Fighter with a Special Forces TIE Fighter Pilot, regular TIE, but it's not Gear 13, and then with the Gear 13 Hux, the Finalizer, but it's only, it's still at where it needs to be, it only needs to be 5 to qualify. So that's basically my Gear 13s. Please like, sub, and go through as many videos as you can and just watch like a second of them. It's like charity, honestly, because I, I just want to get monetized and make a little bit extra, just enough to do better quality videos. And I'm putting together a versus video, a battle, a hypothetical battle based on, you know, force abilities, martial arts, um racial, uh, uh, race and physical attributes, um, the way somebody, uh, uses their physical power and their force power, their, uh, force pulls, their physical powers and their force powers, like their force affinity, their martial arts, their racial attributes, their weaponry, uh, and um, the first one is going to be Battle of the Grand Masters and their apprentice and uh, their number twos. So the, for the first one, I'm for the first battle, it's going to be with Grandmaster Yoda with a green bladed lightsaber doing form set four Ataru and um, Master of the Order Hammer of Ryloth Mace Windu with a one of a kind and with a stewed purple bladed lightsaber doing. Um, the variant of Form 7 that he created and is also the only person to master um, the variant of Form 7 Julia known as Pod and then um, versus Grandmaster of the Old Republic Satil Shan, descendant of Jedi Knight slash Darth Revan who either wields a either wields a, a, either wields a, uh, 
Um, in her younger days, she wielded a saber staff with a pair of blue blades and an ornate hilt. And um, as a grandmaster, she wielded a single blue bladed lightsaber with an ornate hilt. And then the battle master, Kao Sen Darach, who either uses a green blade lightsaber, in, like in the return. Um, but as you can see, when Satine throws a saber staff and he uses the saber staff in conjunct blue sa saber staff with two blue blades in conjunction with his original uh, green bladed lightsaber, you can see he has training in Jarkai and with a saber staff. So basically, um, although it only doesn't show it in the return trailer in the game, um, Kalasun Duretch either uses a green bladed lightsaber with a standard hilt or a saber staff with dual green blades. So he's just like Satil. The only difference is one's blue, one's green. And uh, so basically, um, for the record's sake, I'm putting them down as having either a blue bladed lightsaber uh, or a green bladed lightsaber, a blue bladed saber staff, or a green bladed saber staff. But for the combat portion, um, Satil's going to be using her blue against the other's green. And Mace is using his one of a kind of purple. And uh, against. Um, and he's also bringing a style of martial arts that wasn't invented while and Durach was Battlemaster Rapod. So that'll be, it'll be interesting to see how the Zabrak deals with that. I need you to get off the bike. 